And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi and my brother Uch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? We got another video for y'all in relation to Dragon Ball Super, and this I'm going to give the stamp of warning. This is a video that is pure fun speculation and a what if scenario so please don't get butthurt and don't take this too seriously this is just how i think broly can be canon in dragon ball super Okay, well, first up, why the hell did this idea come to mind? Well, if you guys have been paying attention to Dragon Ball Super, there's a character that's literally paying homage to Broly. And obviously, Broly is amongst all the movies that are not canon. The only movies that are canon are basically Resurrection of F and Battle of God. History of Trunks and the story of Bardock are not actually movies, they're actually shorts. That's why those are canon and they're not really movies. With that being said, how can Broly, a character that isn't canon, become canon in Dragon Ball Super? It all starts with the Tournament of Power that's coming up really soon. All there has to be is a segment where Shampa sees this transformation and Goku and the Z Warriors. Should we call them Super Warriors now? Because it's not Dragon Ball Z. It don't matter what it is. Who cares? Same. All that has to happen is some form of recognition. Whether it's Goku, whether it's Piccolo, whether it's Gohan or Vegeta, either any of those characters, all they have to do is acknowledge the resemblance and say out loud, oh my gosh, this character looks really similar and reminds me of... And as soon as that happens, let's just say, for the sake of argument, obviously this is a what-if type of video. Let's say they do say Broly. They reveal, they drop the name. And Shampa, whose universe is six, is God of Destruction. He hears that, and he w wonders to himself, hmm, I wonder who they're referring to, since they might be familiar with the person from my universe. Then, all he has to do, post-tournament, after term is done, the character that knows everything, he goes to that character and he says, I want to know more about Broly. That is when Broly is basically kind of revitalized and Shampa learns about Broly and his whereabouts and the whole story behind it. We might get some new animated scenes for Super because Broly is that ish. Side note, one of the main reasons why Brola, we're going to call her Brola for now, exists is because of how popular of a character Broly was. Fair enough. So, moving forward, he learns about the character. He then decides, I want to have a, a person as strong as us. Because let's assume Universe 6 loses. Let's assume they lose, and Shampa is jealous, of course, of his brother being the winning universe. And he says, This would die. Huh? They would get blown up. Well, okay, let's say for the sake of argument that they're all, they all, they all somehow manage to live mm. and they all don't die. Like, you know, moving past that. The fact that Shampa wants some kind of revenge and some kind of rematch towards his brother's universe. And he goes, not only do I have Brola, I now have Broly. So he goes on adventures off for the Super Dragon Balls because those Dragon Balls are known to be way stronger and way more effective than the regular Dragon Balls. Make himself a Broly. Exactly. So whether he takes this information and basically wishes back a dead Broly or basically wishes an all new Broly where it is a Broly that follows Shampa's command and I'm not talking about the ring accessories that he had on his wrists and, and shins and his belt and on his head to kind of keep him under wraps. I'm talking about the kind of control where all this dude had to do 
is challenge Shampa and test him. And Shampa says, I'm brought you, I'm the one who brought you back to life, so you're gonna listen to what I say. We're gonna see Shampa versus Broly. And then Broly's gonna realize, oh, this dude is like really a god of destruction, like he said. And here is the catch. The one reason why he's such a poorly designed character in the first place. All he has to say is, do you want your revenge on Kakara? And that is a wrap. That's how you make Broly a canonical character in Dragon Ball Super. Any questions? <laughs> Did you want Broly in the tournament or did you want him after? Well, no, see, it would make more sense if it was after the tournament because for obvious reasons, there's a whole fight going on. 80 freaking people at the same time, Royal Rumble style, times, whatever. And for that all to happen, Shampa would have to basically leave and not watch the tournament. It's not like he could go do all that what I just said and insert Broly into the tournament. I'm saying like, if you follow what I was saying, I said that that curiosity would stem off of the Z Warriors seeing Brola for the first time and then acknowledging that Broly was actually a character. It would have to be after. Even like after the tournament, if Universe 6 lives somehow, because like the guy the guy doesn't destroy it yeah or whatever and then shampa does get broly somehow or just like i don't know yeah if he gets broly and he says he tells him he wants revenge for kakarot or whatever wouldn't that like be a conflict of war between universe six and seven separately like without the tournament right that's just another arc that they do because there's always been that rebuttal there's always been that feud with shampa and beerus they always have that they're brothers He's the skinny one, he's the fat one. He's the one with the abs, he's the one with the keg on his stomach. <laughs> it all adds up and that's just another form of this brother trying to get back at the other one. And that's the bet, like that's literally the best possible thing. I'm just saying guys, aside of all this, they bring back Broly, you understand how much fan, like Dragon Ball Super is being known as a fan service anime right now. The fact that they have brought back Future Trunks, <laughs> and we had an evil Goku. I see. I feel like anything's possible. And if they did it like something like that, that all they, I'm telling you, all they have to do is just acknowledge. Like, oh, I feel like I fought someone like this before. It's game over. People are gonna go crazy. If they tease that, yeah, they if they it. tease that, I'm telling you. They bring back Broly, that's probably one of the most smartest things they could ever do when, like, it's guaranteed, like, people are watching Dragon Ball Super as it is because it's, it's Dragon Ball. You bring Broly? This is his first time as a serious character, real-time character. Can you imagine the epic fights that this dude's gonna have with Goku again, with the other Universe 6 people? Gonna need a I want him to fight Broly. Broly versus Broly. And I want Broly to whoop him first. And then Broly's like, uh, what? People stronger than me? And he just goes Super Saiyan 3 or something. Like, people, I'm sure there's a, a bunch of fan pics of Broly Super Saiyan Blue. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. That is my reasoning, explanation, and funzy time for how Broly can be canon in Dragon Ball Super. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a good time listening to me go off and explain how a non canonical fake character would exist in a canonical universe in Dragon Ball Super. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter and Discord. Let me know what you guys thought about the potential <laughs> of Broly being in Dragon Ball Super. Let me know what you guys think. Please, like I said, please, please, please realize this is all for fun. This is not me being like serious in any way. It's just a little fan theory or like I said, it's all for fun. We're keeping it real out here. I'll see y'all later.